Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Simulacra 2. This is Maya! Look at Maya, look at Maya's eyes, look at Maya's lips, look at Maya's nose, look at Maya's hair, the flowers. Something ain't right about Maya. Unless this is a perfectly normal picture of Maya, and then I'm very sorry, but something don't seem right about Maya. I need to know what the greatest gift to Maya's life is, and I'm not gonna answer Dr. Matilo's uh, whatever your name is. I'm not gonna answer their inquisition until I am able to... Did I do this? I already there did still this. Has to be a way to fix yep, I did that. So there's gotta be... something that says what the greatest thing... What was it again? Greatest gift to you? Okay, greatest gift to you. This sounds like a chimera thing, a chimera thing. Namaste, you guys. Good morning. First thing to do in the morning. First thing. And natural D is great for you. Powerful. I hope that you guys can adopt this as your daily practice. And while you're there, take three deep breaths for yourself, right? I like to keep it really simple. I'll just inhale love and exhale ego three times. And then I get on with my day and it's always amazing. Like I see nothing about the greatest thing ever in your life forever, but there might be something. So proud of my gals and mind body fitness. Here we go. People always think that my life's perfect, but that's just so far from the truth. Who thinks that? Who I thinks that? I struggled with my health for the longest time. Okay. I had no energy to get out of bed. I was losing hair and I was just in so much pain. So what I did was I went to study nutrition to learn what works for me because doctors, they don't even know that much anyway. They're just trying to sell you big pharma. You just gotta go listen to what your heart tells you. What? Style by Aria. There's gotta, what is, what is the greatest gift? What is your greatest gift to you? Okay. All right. Who are these people? Wait, oh, right. The phone is acting weird. Her inner circle of friends? Good. You read their statements then. If you didn't recall, Detective Murillo is asking, what is wrong with Detective Murillo's face? We found their prints all over Maya's apartment, but that just means they were over a lot. So our guys didn't bother questioning them much. Idiots. Find anything new about them? They all work together. I said anything new. We already know they all influence or whatnot on social media. Did they say anything about Maya? Maya was acting weird before she died. That's pretty obvious from the videos she left behind. What do you think? They're hiding something. Seems like we're on the same page. Change of tactics. We need to attack from multiple angles. I need you to talk to them individually. Why the change of tactics? If they're lying, it's easier to cover for each other as a group. But if you separate them, they might crack. Classic prisoner's dilemma. That's a good point. Find out who they really are and what their connection to Maya is on a professional and personal level. They'll talk if they see Maya's corpse. I guess? God, no! <laughs> Dial it way down! Warm them up a bit, make it conversational. Try getting their alibis for the night Maya died too. Keep an eye out for any slip-ups. If they have let their guard down, they might accidentally reveal a bit too much. Um, uh, camera? What? What was that? What? Excuse me? Sorry, that wasn't for you. Interesting. Offline, eh, Detective Marilla? Were you trying to activate my camera? Okay, so what's this? Wow. Lost a friend recently. Knowing her, she wouldn't want me moping around. Here's Maya dedicating my next million earn to you. All right, well, that's nice. Video. <laughs> Setting up the damn camera. What? Why? Why was there an alarm? You, uh, you are, right, buddy? Need help with your camera? Shut up and get back to work. This influencer life really is something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you've been learning more about our victims. Feels wrong looking some, uh, 
Yeah, I read the case file already. I said more. Like I said. Hello? To understand the crime, we have to really know the victim, down to every last detail. Looks like she had some stalkers. Stalker, eh? Maybe one got a bit too obsessive. Look, I know I'm pushing you here. But even seemingly insignificant scraps of information might just tell us something about this case. Just keep looking. You'll see I'm right. Okay, thanks, boss! I'm gonna go talk to... <laughs> Great video. I'm gonna go talk to people. Ah, interesting. We need to talk alone. I've got more questions. That's a bit, that's a bit much. That's a bit strong. I've got more questions. Do I need a lawyer for this conversation? Do you have one? I have a family one. But I'm not worried because I'm innocent. Can we please just get this over with so I can get back to my life? Let's see. Anything I can do to make this easier? Short of leaving me alone? You can start by getting to the point. Everything is falling apart and I have to pretend everything is fine. Work has been stressful enough as it is. Okay. What's falling apart? My entire career by the looks of it. My Meyer account is going down and I'm not sure why. As devastated as I am right now, I still have to craft the perfect RIP response for my followers. Otherwise, my performance will tank even further. Interesting. This job feels quite demanding. I know a thing or two about the stresses of influencement. It's a ruthless industry, so I need to stay competitive. It's not really, though. Your followers can make or break you in an instant. Don't give them that power. You have to keep them happy at all times. I find mocking them works a lot better. And that means making sacrifices. Okay, I do agree with that. I do make a lot of goat sacrifices. I don't kill them or anything. But I am sacrificing. Them. For them. With them. On them. Around them. You fill in the gaps. See, sounds like they own you. It's a two-way relationship. It's not. It's parasocial. They live their lives vicariously through me. I get to live my life as I please. <laughs> Work doesn't feel like a job, so most of us pressure is worth it. Were you working the night? Do you think the pressure got to Maya? Hmm. Seems like it. she was never good at handling stress. She was always overdoing it. With her lifestyle, who knows what kind of supplements she was popping. Maybe she dropped dead in her living room from pure exhaustion. How do you know where she died? I'm just putting the pieces together, okay? Isn't that your job? Mm. <laughs> Are you done? Because I am. I'd like to get back to my shoot. I'll leave it to you then. Farewell. Glad to be of help. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Rex. What is this? Maya, are you just going to keep ignoring me? Just be straight up. You don't have to hide from me. I'm not going to bite. If you can't handle the pressure or this thing's really not working out, let's just hash it out like adults. I remember that. I've got more questions. God, why you got to use Maya's number? Almost killed me there. I <laughs> get it. Hilarious. Man, this is why cops got a bad rep. Humorless. Anyway, Mr. Officer, time is money. So shoot those questions. Uh, Maya, was your business partner? Yeah, with the other two. Just four independent adults looking to escalate their portfolios to the next level. Gotta rethink my workflow now that Maya's gone. Figure out a new career plan. Problems keep piling up on me. Let's see, sounds like Maya's death really affected you. Yeah, I counted on her a lot. It's a big loss. Monetarily speaking. Pros like me are used to pushing through our personal shit to make our enterprises work. So quit the small talk. What do you really want from me? No anyone, anyone who might harm her? Uh, she was so boring, no way she had any enemies. So my theory? Maya went on some bullshit detox, self-care trip, whatever she did there messed up her face. Oh, how do you know about her face injuries? Uh, wild guess. My theory tends to accidentally on point. I'm a visionary. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you, bitch! Let's see, uh, how is that? Well, for one, image is everything. And death's a bummer for any brand. Okay, time's up. You need anything else? 
I could have made 7,800 bucks in these few minutes I'm talking to you. We'll be in touch. Wrap it up fast, will you? Oh, I will. I've got more questions. Am I in trouble, detective? I just want to hear your side of the story. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I can't help thinking like I could have helped her somehow. It's so sad that she died alone. She was a close friend. She was my manager. But we were friends too. She believed in me from the start, you know. I was struggling to get anyone to listen to me, but she heard me. She helped me change my look and made me who I am today. Sounds like you owe a lot to her. All of us do. She taught me a lot about this business. Your follower numbers matter more than talent. <laughs> Even Maya got worried when she lost followers. All that stress must have eaten her up inside. Did she show signs of stress before this? Just recently, before she... I should have been there for her more. I keep thinking about how she died. Like, what if no one reported her death? If that random person didn't call the cops, would anyone have found her? How do you know about the anonymous caller? Um... Heard the cops talking about it? <laughs> Interesting. All this Maya talk is really triggering me right now. I need some alone time. We will get to the bottom of this, Mina. Oh, we'll get to the bottom of this, all right. <laughs> Have you guys got tickets to my show yet? I promise it's been worth it. Been practicing non-stop. Hmm. Interesting. No, it isn't easy. This life isn't for everyone. So before you think you can do my job, let me spare you some wisdom. Don't compare yourself to me ever. You're not on my level and you never will be. Wow. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. You guys, thank you so much for coming out to my show tonight. I really felt the love. Sometimes the pain is so raw. I can't even find words. And Maya... Maya was my guiding light. Without her, I'm just... groping around in darkness, you know? It's like death just stalks me everywhere I go. Like I have to keep crashing into tides of... suffering. For you guys... Tonight, it was just me pouring myself into the music. And I know that's what she would have wanted. Beautiful, I think. Feel like a moth flying wild and blind. Rest in peace, Maya. Your light's always in my heart. I, I see uh, Maya is flying very peacefully and something or other or something like that. So, I've got some contradictions. Time to report my findings. I spoke to them individually. Learn anything new? Something they said bothered me. This sounds promising. What do you have? They knew details of the crime scene. What? All we told the public is Maya died of unknown causes. Nothing else. What did they tell you? Aria mentioned Maya dying in the living room. Ha 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 ha! You'd have to be at the crime scene to know that. Or make a very lucky guess. Uncovered any other info? Mina knew about the anonymous caller! Aside from the department, only the emergency dispatcher would know about this or the caller themselves. Okay, what else? Rex says something about her face being injured! Only we know about those marks. Either information leaked or you know something we don't. Is that everything you have? What's your take? They could have been there. They could have been there. It's possible. But if they're lying, we have to prove it. What else can we pursue? They all told me similar stories. It's similar, eh? What's the pattern? They can't stop talking about their work. Can't they put their lives on hold for just one second? Damn kids in there. <laughs> so what's your opinion? Her death might be tied to their jobs. Maya just died and all they want to do is work? I see why you think it's connected, but it's a hunch at best. We need more proof. What do you think? I think they're lying is what it is. I just don't know to what extent. They're intentionally withholding information. I believe so too. They must have seen or heard something. 
Whatever happened to Maya spooked them enough to stay mum. They must be conspiring. Right. They shouldn't be keeping things from us. We need solid evidence to nail them. I tried getting her laptop myself, but this chief switched the locks to the evidence room. If you don't find a way to access Maya's laptop remotely, the trail ends here. All right, well, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. I know just how to do that. Not that one. God damn it. Whoa. Tired of losers holding back your perfect self? Always? Sick of trolls being hit on your personal image? My God, they're doing it right now! Are your loyal admirers turning into persistent haters? Every single day of my life, they keep betraying me! You! Ever wish you could reshape your current reality? Yes! 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 Take these questions to see how you'd like your reality to be shaped into. Which image just best describes how you see yourself? I see myself ominously floating up in the middle of the woods. Yes! Yes! That's what I've always assumed of myself. What do you see your journey to the top feel like? I see my journey to the top being an explosion of pink! Absolutely, that's my journey to the top! That's everyone's journey to the top, baby. What do you seek the most? I seek a never-ending spiral of unimaginable chaos! That's pink! What would you change about yourself? <laughs> I would definitely change the fragmented mirror of realities that reflects the border between universes! Ha 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 ha! What am I willing to become? Oh, I'm willing to become a crowd of faceless masked people! <coughs> uh, Lixie and censor that last one. Hey, 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 what? Your confidence drives you and rivals wither your path. What holds you back is the weakness of others and self-doubt. Improve your content and ambition by being quick, decisive, and head of the curve, no matter what it takes. You got it. I'm about to be ahead of the curve. What? <laughs> Discovered missing group chat thread? But wait, wait, wait. Can I diva it up? Could I diva myself? Fine. Fine. Group chat? Tied to a video sync to Maya's laptop. Ah, I need to get into that laptop, baby. I like the power. People fearing me. I used to be a huge bully. Maybe I am. Well, I'm sure lived my tragic story. I was just lonely. Hmm. Need a boost? Reveal the identity of the introducer. Introducer? Someone introduced Maya to an influencer boosting service. Huh. Interesting. So there was an influencer boosting service somewhere, but where? But whoa. Hi? Group chat. Okay. I need to get into the laptop. Unless this is this one. But I don't think it is. No, no, no. Okay, so I got to get into the laptop. And to do that, I've got to do something. God damn it! Really? It was- oh, I didn't even see this. All my fans and my followers are the greatest gift. Ah! Oh, the greatest gift is fans. That is the greatest gift. <laughs> Favorite song? De Delir- Multicolored Lies. Multicolored Lies. What quote do you rate it to the most? Uh, my God, look at her fat, fat ass. Oops, okay. So th this also has to be either a jabber quote or uh, a chimera. Aim high. New beginnings! It's gotta be new beginnings! New beginnings! Ah, that's it. Baba Booey, baby! Oh boy, what is this? I probably. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? What is this? What is this? I see. Stop it. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Please, please just trust me. 
I mean, like, why Why would a boosting service want to kill us? Because the Ripple Man is <laughs> Okay, the Ripple Man is not real, Maya. You have to stop it. The service is a bit weird, yes. But it's probably just a marketing ploy and a prank to mess with our heads. A prank? Our following shot right through the roof after we signed up. That's not normal! Oh, come on, it's just an algorithmic hack. It doesn't run on magic. This thing wants me as a sacrifice. If we don't stop it, this is not going to end with me. What's this Ripple Man going to do? Wave us to death? If I show it to you on my phone, will you believe me? Okay, sure. This one? All of this can be explained. Babe, you're oh, just no. stressed out, okay? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You're just stressed out. I'm not throwing away my future because you're going nuts. I'm not crazy! <laughs> I'm trying to save us, all of us. Maybe if we use a different service or something. It's too maybe late. That might help. Too late for that now. This is already happening, but we can stop it. We can okay, stop it. this is all just because of that stupid deal, right? Okay, look, no one's gonna take that deal, so nothing's gonna happen. You know, I'm not stupid enough to go for some vague trade. Hey, hey are you okay? Hey, don't look at me. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, she's glitching! She's glitching right the fuck out! The Ripple Man! She dies suddenly shortly after her. I thought she would die like a bit more explosively and like being levitated in the air and then blood being shot out of her wounds. All of it sucked out right through her face wounds. Um, but that was also death. Um... Okay, there's... What? This might be surprising, but I'm not... I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. This might be surrounded, but I'm not happy with my life. I definitely feel lucky and grateful for what I have, but it's not without hard work and sacrifice. My influence is not an accident. Control is what I crave the most. Yet the longer I'm in this field, the more powerless I feel. This platform is unpredictable. I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. It's a battle I'm slowly losing. Or though I thought. I found this through the ads and it changed the tide for me. TRM gave me a level of control I didn't know was possible. I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. What? This is why scheduled posts are such a bad idea. Oops. Okay. Well, this is strange. Um, but now I definitely have this group chat from this lappy toppy. Bubba da dooey. What is this? I have a question about the boosting thingy. Have you seen your new card? The one with the weird messaging? You mean this thing? Who? Oh. You relish your position as a star among people around you, playing it out as my own perceived role as much as possible in an ever-increasing grandeur. <laughs> Where you are the hero in a never-ending story. You move people with your larger-than-life persona and sweep others away with your performance and influence. <laughs> yes, I do. Embrace your influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. Um, well, guys? Start sacrificing. I need to have my influence and my prestige grow big and strong. Become engorged, if you will. So, uh, chop chop with the likes and subscribes and shares and the whatnot. Actor. I didn't even read that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even read that. I just read this and it was very much. Ah, that, that. <coughs> oh, wow. Um. Interesting. Not sure what the sim- WAS THAT RED AND BLUE?! Did I- <gasps> Dark Briar. Yeah, that one, I don't like it. It seems very off. It's just some dumb personality-based upselling tactic. They try and psych you out to buy their stuff. But what does it mean by a deal for a personal sacrifice? I feel like TRM wants to trap us somehow. What is it asking for a sacrifice? Maybe I should ask Florence. She was using TRM before. Florence, you say? But I just think about the timing of it. We're all facing so much hate from our followers, right? And suddenly now we get the so-called offer to get rid of all that. And the card describes it's like it knows our brands. Like it knows us. I got the musician one. So is it stealing our data or something? Is it watching us? I'm just worried, okay? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Look, it's just like a tracking metrics, all right? So it scans my profile and sees my mad moolah skills and bam, I get the tycoon card. Kind of kooky, but I gotta say it's pretty impressive and tempting. Oh my god, I know, right? I just can't with all these people just tearing me down. I got more hate mail today. People telling me to kill myself and stuff. So you think the service thing will make it all go away? Haters, man, they're always waiting to claw you. Anyway, this add-on sounds kind of bullshit, though. I'm just gonna ignore it. I think it's a good idea. As long as we're on the same page.
This is urgent. I need to explain in person. I'm not sure that I understand it myself, but just come over to my place tonight. I need you to be here, please. It's really important. How did you send this back in time? How did you send this like earlier in time and so worried about you? Like I was getting sick thinking something might happen. I figured it out. TRM the cards. Maya asked her friends to meet at her apartment the day before she died. Interesting. You're scaring me. What have you been smoking? Rex, stop being so freaking rude. Okay, Maya, babe, you, you gotta stop having a rack attack, okay? Let's just all meet up and sort this out in person. None of you are capable of writing. That's obvious. Okay. Weird. Interesting. Later, gators. Huh. Okay, so I can text more in the group chat. That's that's obvious. I don't think I reveal the identity of... Oh, wait. Florence. Flory. Flory and Flory. Someone before. Yeah. Flory and Florence. I'm opening it. Maya Florence. I was wondering if you got this. No biggie. Americon vouchers ask 20k to 100k in two weeks. Just like rich difference. Surprise you don't know about it. Ads on Chimera. Have a TRM, tailored reputation management. Buying likes. God, never sink that low. You're in a pod, right? Get your friends to do it as well. That's Emily of X. Oh, that's probably important. X U X I U L I N. Emily. Okay. Oh my God, Florence, I tried it and it works. It's so weird. It totally works. Florence, you there? Florence, something's wrong. We all get a huge follower boost and the numbers are going up, but the dislike ratio is getting worse. And now there's some kind of deal? I'm not sure. Maya, worked out well, I see. Not quite. I just want to ask, did you take this deal it offered you? The deal is quite remarkable. No, it allows you to control your fate. I just took I took it. It worked out completely. Just embrace everything it offers you. Right, uh, I think Florence might be dead. Pretty sure, pretty sure Florence might be dead. I don't think I have the ability to find that particular person's things. Okay, um, well actually I'm gonna go to the chat. I wanna talk to these guys first. Hey, uh, later guys. What do you know about this TRM? What do you know about this TRM? Ooh, which TRM? What do you know about this actor type? What is this all about? Whoa. How the heck do you get old messages from a wiped phone? Rex, they don't know what we know. The phone is wiped. It was Ari's idea to wipe it clean. Well, interesting. And Mina just watched. How dare you? We all agreed to this. Hmm. There's no point in hiding anymore, so let's just be on front. What are you trying so hard to hide? TRM. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, guys. The boosting service Maya introduced us to, she said she was being haunted by it. She said it stood for tailored reputation management. Then she called it the Ripple Man for some reason. She brought it up as a solution for our ratings dropping. Interesting. Interesting. I guess some people would sell their soul to keep their internet fame. I would never do that. Cranking up the blame train already, huh? You know, statistically, the accuser is always guilty, right? Whoa. Why did I get no chance for that? So since Ari got, why did I get zero time for that? Oh, applying those statistics to yourself now, accuser. Uh, guys, how can a boosting service kill someone? The Ripple Man offered a deal for a great sacrifice. So someone must have taken the deal and sacrificed Maya. Someone, for all we know, you're the one who took it. Does the act of innocence come with a side of lies? I didn't take it. Was that why Maya was so distressed? Yes and no. The deal was can supposedly wipe out any bad publicity from our Chimera pages, even when Maya was getting flack. If you didn't pressure her so much, she might not have gone to such extreme measures. Pfft, you guys gotta learn to deal with things in a healthy way. A deal that kills people. I didn't know that's what it meant. We got a quota hit to hit, okay? You gotta be trending 24 seven or you lose everything. Unfortunate, but true. This sounds like people that have never trended 24-7 ever. Are you saying you took the deal? Hey, we all agreed to the service and I never took the deal. What in the world did you get to yourself? What in the world did you get yourselves into? What the hell is this? I don't know what else to say, okay? This whole thing is totally bizarre. You were at the crime scene. Maya. 
Maya recorded us. You lied to the police. I wanted to call the cops. But Arya said no one would believe us. Thanks, Mina, for throwing me under the bus. Yeah, nice snitching. Mina. <laughs> you wanted to run away too. Okay, time out here. Put yourself in our shoes. We, who's going to believe us if, if we said that some face-tearing monster killed her? Let's see. I'm listening now. I'm here. I'm listening. All right. Okay, fine. Not like we're going anywhere. Thanks, mister. Let's skip down. I don't even know where to start. It all happened so fast. Face explosion disease just happens. She was fine. Like, oh my God. Can you guys take turns to speak? I thought I was hallucinating or something. And bam, she just, she just. It was like, it was invisible at first. Her face to burst open. What's this ripple man Maya spoke about? Oh, um, I'm like not sure. Just something Maya named whatever the hell that was, that was, all right? Who knows why? Yes, poor thing must have said it in fear. It was terrifying for all of us. I told you, think of how bad it was for us. We had to watch our friend get their face exploded. You ever seen someone you kind of work with and also respect maybe kind of use for influentials there have their face explode? You ever have to witness that? No. We only lied about Maya being nuts before she kicked the block it. <laughs> the block it. Let's see. So who, who took the Ripple Man's deal? 100% I'd never screw Maya over. So that's 50-50 between these two. Oh my god, you liar! <laughs> Why don't I start with you, Rex? Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we just get on a group call? Do you guys have Discord? Can we make this easy? What's the deal here? Real first Oh my god. Mina's bullshit boohoo stories backfiring in her face. What? Area is like a total cell. Oh my god. Guys. Get rich quick. I know what actually why wow, man. I just wanted to pick one Guys 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 Let's take this one step at a time Why don't we do that? Nope, great. I'm done with this shit. Oh My god, you guys are the worst It's not like you have anything on me right anyway, right? I'm done here. Wait a minute. Yeah, you got nothing on us. Why the hell am I wasting time on any of you? They're so rude. Um, so you can't do anything to us. I can try to help you if you want to speak in private. That's what I thought. Found anything yet, rookie? You better not be slacking off. Why would I be slacking off? What would you even think that I'd be doing to slack off? How could I even slack off? I'm slacking. I'm about to slack off. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm fixing it. Oh, I'm POV now. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. So what about that? Okay, good. I'm glad that I was able to see inside someone's soul for a few moments. That was lovely. I found stuff. Well, Rex Keegan! Another thing. Hmm? If you're going to keep putting your nose all over my business and accuse me of all sorts of shit, I am going to sue you for defamation and harassment. Don't make me get my claws out, all right? Oh no, Rex Keegan's claws are coming out, guys. Guys, you better watch out. Rex Keegan's about to unclaw. I'd appreciate a response right now. One of our suspects just threatened me. Huh. Well, get used to it. It means we're on the right track. Enough screwing around. Get back to it. Focus on getting more intel. Have you heard of this TRM? You're gonna get the diva card. No, but looks like another piece to the puzzle. What? Isn't that the ad on Chimera that keeps popping up about that boosting service? So as the servers factor in, it offered, this is related to Maya's death. Somehow, what happened? Item is not accounted for. All handling officers in the police report to the chief's office for immediate debriefing. Dig through the phone. There has to be something in there that proves I'm right. 
Oh, there's something all right. Look at this. Take a look at one of these. Take a look at this. Even though I told you that they were already there. You're offline. Why are you offline, Detective Marillo? Hi, bud. You saw the video? Yeah. This ripple man? I thought it was just an urban legend like that Jeff the Killer story, but, but this is proof. They call me crazy. I'll show them who's crazy. I'll... I, I have to go. Too many yeah. years here. You tell them who's crazy. Ah, something just went in my eye! And no damn respect. Can't even get privacy in my own damned office. I should have been a pianist, but no. I had to serve and protect. Okay, Detective Barillo! You have a lovely day now. Well, I'll be damned. Video evidence. <laughs> Looks like she had a seizure of some sort. And these kids stood there watching it. They lied to my face. What the hell is happening there? I have a theory. But I need more proof. The Ripple Man? A deal? We need them to really spill the beans. I showed this to them. Nice work. Their stories are starting to crack. We have some leverage now. We need to figure out who this Ripple Man is, who this Pee Pee Poo Poo Man really is, and deal, and this deal they keep talking about. We're close. A little more digging and we'll get to the bottom of this. No time. This is worse than I thought. We are dealing with a simulacrum. What? What the? I'm familiar with those. I'm familiar with those. You're definitely fit for this department, kid. Dupe really has a place for you in his heart. No one knows what these creatures are, but they all use online communication as a cover. Lurking behind websites, social media, apps. I don't know what they want, but they sure love screwing with us. So, there are more of these? The body count they're leaving behind is rising, too. See, what does it want with us? From my experience with the previous ones, it wants to possess humans. This one is a hell of a long con. It baits its victims by promising fame on Chimera, knowing that they will eventually slip up under the glare of the limelight. Then it offers them a deal to remove all criticism for a price. That's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. I don't get it. What's so great about some internet likes? You don't know. The rush is better than drugs. It's better than anything. It's better than sex. Imagine if you got a like in the middle of sex. Wow. Anyway, maybe they didn't realize Amaya was the cost. I have my doubts. One of them must have known. These selfish, idiot kids. One of them unleashed the Ripple Man. This thing will claim more victims if we don't stop it. We need to find out who did it. And then end the Pee Pee Poo Man. It's gonna be tough, but here's my idea. This deal removes criticism and brickbats, right? What the frick is a brickbat? But I'm sure these kids did something to spark that backlash. If we can find out what they did and why, maybe we can figure out who did the deal. Hmm. How do we find evidence of this? I already know. Go through their social medias. The good thing about the diddle is... <laughs> Start going through their social media. It's impossible to attract so much bad juju without doing something bad. Figure out what it is and confront them with it. Whoever took the deal must have a lot to lose. Precisely. They would do anything to f defend what they've got. You're handling this solo for now. I need to settle some things. I'll talk to them one by one. Not before doing some digging first. Start with whoever you want, but don't talk to them without proof. We're looking for any evidence of them mucking up so bad that they are begging for a chance to wipe away all that negativity. Discovered a deleted email, you said. Okay! Hi! Another thing. Yeah? Watch your back. Watch your back? I don't like this seeing visions one bit. I didn't tell this you- This rabbit hole is definitely not gonna end up in Wonderland. I literally did not tell you about that. I quite literally did not say anything about that. Alright, let's go through their social modules. Let's face it, exercising sucks. Hmm. Let's go on an adventure. Where would you take me? I don't know. A few minutes later, a bird pooped on my head. I'm sure. Haha, <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck! No! Huh. Hi, chicas. Okay, it's really hard for me to do this. 
I want to apologize for the alluring thing. You know, sometimes you edit hundreds of photographs and videos and the wrong one gets uploaded. And you know, that was just, that was just a rehearsal, you know, it's just me messing around. And it's, it's just not fair that one mistake It was just one mistake and it brought so much hate. <laughs> Sorry. I was bullied so much growing up. And it now feels like it's happening all over again. <laughs> And to be torn down by your own community when you're already giving it your all. Everything I do is for you. Hey. Hey. You, you didn't have to. Was this just a rehearsal? You didn't have to post this one. Okay, so I remember seeing something about this with like da 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 da. Okay, not this one. I'm not naming names because they don't particularly want wannabes are doing the. They just want the fame. I'm talking to you, Babs, Babby doll. Hmm. Okay, there's got to be something else here. Oh, uh, inner bombshell. Gorgeous, no matter what. Love yourself. Okay. Ah, here we go. Oh. I saw this Yo, one. Super exciting news. Guess who's the latest Aluren Uh huh. But unfortunately, some of the video is wrong. Obviously, lying. Okay, so lying about getting a brand deal, which honestly is fascinating. Discrepancies in the announcement. Okay, got that. I already, I already saw this before. <laughs> Turns out that I didn't need to go through all these uh, beforehand because I would have found them anyway. Okay, so there's something here. In Mina's. Ah, here we go. Aha! Realize that a personal tragedy has been a major source of inspiration, but some of our fans are doubting this. Interesting. There's probably only one piece of info per. Oh, wait, more. Mina enjoys wallowing in self pity and uses it as a means to get attention from others. All right, interesting. Well, then let me actually go back to this post here because. Aha! Maya sees Arya as her inspiration to stay strong in tough times. Good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's good to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So there's some drama between her and Baby Doll, but it doesn't say anything about that. This the, Rex is like perfect in every way. There is nothing. Rex has never done a goddamn thing wrong in Rex's life. Rex grabs life by the throat, and you can too. If you use my link in the description to follow my patented deep throating technology, you too can be like Rex, and you can make millions of dollars every minute. Every minute. Okay, Rex's validation, despite its dubious side business, Rex is still recognized by legitimate organizations like BizCon and gets invited to speak there. That's because he's never done a wrong thing in his life. He's a legitimate trebillionaire. He has so much money! I'm surprised there's no evidence about this because this is pretty damning. Grab success by the throat! Alright, nothing else here. Let me look at my, my doobie dabbers. Mina's image. Erica's full name. Do I have Erica's full name? Erica. Erica. Here's something about Erica. Well, apparently that was it. Okay, a discussion with Mina regarding her involvement in the road accident that led to Erica's death. Police report. Ah, I see. Ah, it was my suggestion to use Erica as... An inspiration to drum up support. Okay. You've got more talent in your little pinky than most of these trash museums. Museums. Musicians. Okay, interesting, interesting. So there's gotta be... Oh, God. You know, for someone who's such a tragic rock star, I don't buy any of Mina's melodrama. There's no record of any of her stories. See if she mentions any specific incident. Something you can look up on the police database. It covers everything from murder to accidents. I know, it's literally what I'm doing. 
Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Okay, so Erica, what is Erica's full name? Erica, was there something on Chimera about? No, you're Aria, Mina, Erica, not this one, this one. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? If there's some kind of database here for accidents, district. Okay, I need... <sighs> I need district, all this stuff. Okay, so what is the song, right? First of August. Ah. Erica Simmons. Booyah! Okay, August. In what district does it say here? My birthday week has always been really hard for me. Okay, I wrote, my friend died in Albuquerque. <laughs> In Albuquerque, oh. Used to think we would live forever. Let all our dreams guide us to wherever. But then you, then you left. We all lost and alone. Used to feel you would always be by my side. You went to soon your, your life, life was, was denied, denied in Nevada. In New York. And now that you are gone, I'll count the dying days down. In Tennessee Town. In all of the Florida bars. I don't know where. Yeah, but where? Where are your scars? What district are your scars in? All right, fine. Uh, accidents. District. I don't know what the district would be, but I know it's August, right? So it's August. If I just get Erica Simmons in here, maybe you would find something. <sighs> oh, no. Scan. Rex the fraud. It affected many people and they all want justice. Sure. Hmm, interesting. Mina's tragic stories may be made up or exaggerated, but they've genuinely helped others come to terms with their own grief and suffering. That's nice. Asking for likes. Quick to take the easy way out of her problems, like asking for likes from her fans to boost her dwindling popularity. What is the district? Oh, here we go. I need someone's contact. I just DM'd you. I'll trade you for some exclusive news. Anything you want. Save the big influencer contact leaks before it got deleted. Me, who knows? I might be in a sharing mood. Interesting. Okay. Let me just, um, let me get these in here. Ambassador of Allure. Hmm. Maya, I'm beyond annoyed. Such an inconvenience. Look at this. Can you believe this bull? Due to the sheer volume of applications, blah, 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 blah. How hard do I have to try? Oh, like, why can't I just get it? I'm clearly perfect for this. If only I had a friend who could help me out. A friend with connections to Allurin. A friend who slays at fitness and curating diet plans. A friend that I dearly respect and appreciate. A friend I'm forwarding this email to. But seriously, if you know anyone on the inside, please let me know. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I guess. I don't. Whoa. Hi. Let's do it, baby. Rex's new recruit's email address. Is this it? Okay, what about... Wasn't there something in the email with, um... Rex. Here we go. No. Wham! Let me in, baby! I'm claiming my spot! No oh, shit. Okay, new recruit's... Wait! Did I not see someone right here? I somehow almost miss this. Aha, pumped up clicks. Alrighty then, that is the last piece of information that I need. Bam, open. 
My, my, oh my. Someone suddenly has grown a conscious touching. He can make his own decisions. It's not my fault he's such a puppy dog. I didn't force him to quit. Just a few choice words on how working for me could be pretty good for him. That's all. Don't worry your pretty little head about anything. Plus, it's in th his enthusiasm is good for my operation. Him being all excited in his face in the program is going to get more people to join. They love that genuine entity. Crap. You're right about one thing, though. He could be better at use at the gym. Maybe I'll let him stay there. Thanks, my Ola. Me and a whole lot of people owe you one. Rex King. All right, well, did that actually answer any questions for me? I really don't even know. Anyway, Dr. Uh, Marillo? Look, we're running out of time here, so we gotta wrap this up fast. Arya looks like a nice enough girl, but my gut tells me she's got a lot more insecurities than she's letting on. From experience, someone like that is going to do whatever they can for validation, uh -huh. even if they have to fake it. I think you should push her buttons on this. See if she's really as genuinely confident as she seems. Yeah, right now my suspicion is with Arya. Because I know Rex seems like the obvious choice, but I think Here's it is just a red Rex. herring. He blows a lot of hot air about being an entrepreneur, but the only business he's ever registered is his motivational company where he's the only employee. Right. I dug up some posts online saying he's running some sort of scam. Find out more about this. I will. I will. This warden app is really something. I'm glad, I'm damn glad the department spent money on this at least. How's it working out for you? No problem restoring files? This software is amazing. Really is, isn't it? Imagine unraveling a potential suspect's lives through their phones, moment by moment. Every single thing exposed, nothing stays hidden. All of that porn. So much porn. What a wonderful time to be in law enforcement. Because of the porn. Sounds like he really enjoys spying on people. I'm not doing this for personal gratification. This is about getting justice. And if I have to go through miles and miles of porn to get to justice, you're goddamn right I will. I have the right to do whatever necessary to get my job done, no matter the porn I have to pour through. And now's not the time for trivial debates. There's far too much porn to, to, to analyze to get to the bottom of this. We have to get back to the porn! If I don't see anything strange again, not that I ever did in the first place. <laughs> anyway, I'm all out of time for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Bye.